we're back with our expert. Uh, Dr. Ify is here with us today. And Dr. Ify, we want you to please tell us the uh, components that make up the substance called lean and why it's addictive and certainly give this, this, this mother who's hurting and this son who, who's got a baby on the way and a future before him some advice uh, that they can, they can leave here with. Thank you. Um, lean is a cough syrup that usually the doctors uh, prescribe when um, you go to the doctor's office. So it's a prescription uh, medication. It's not one of the over-the-counter cough syrup. This particular cough syrup is uh, uh, made of two uh, medication. Promethazine, which is an antihistamine. Uh, the best example that most people know of antihistamine is uh, like Benadryl. Like if you have some eating or some uh, reaction, you have Benadryl. And most people know that that makes you sleepy. So that's the component that is in there. And coding. Coding is the same as the opioid medication. That's the component of it that is addictive. And because in the body, when somebody takes, uh, whether it's uh, hydrocodone or, or heroin or coding, eventually it's converted by the body to morphine. And it's the morphine that is that gives people the balls or the high or the uh, what, whatever that, that makes them feel good, that they like. That's why people say, I like it, I like the feeling, I want more of this. Eventually, if you take enough of it, it's addictive. Apart from being addictive, it's also um, unhealthy unhealthy and dangerous in the sense that it does the same thing that heroin will do to you when you overtake it, that's an overdose, because it will slow down the heart rate and it will also slow down your breathing. And that's when you get into trouble. So if you keep taking it, after a while you find out that's why it looks like, oh, I like this, it makes me feel good, I'm not hurting anybody. That's the addictive aspect of this thing. And it's, it's very common among uh, young people, especially from uh, teenagers, uh, from 10th grade. Uh, the statistics out there by the National Institute of Drug uh, Addiction says that in the 2017, about 2.5 one percent of 10th graders have tried this lean or the over-the-counter cough syrup. By the time you get to the 10th grade and 12th grade, the number is three percent. So it's really, it's a problem. And what you do is if the, if, if, if somebody, if a, a child or an adult or anybody has a problem that they can't get off it, is to get help. And that's what you do. Well, Dr. Ippy, thank you so much for your, for your expert advice and certainly for that information. And I also want to uh, thank Sharonda and uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And, and Javon, man, I want to thank you also, man, for being uh, at least uh, brave enough to come and be a part of the show. We thank you so much for tuning in. And certainly, we just hope that you would take this advice, adhere to it, and allow now the light to shine in. Recovery is possible.